Good morning, sir. Ma'am. Ma'am. Sir. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Welcome to the party. Oh. That's not very nice, buddy. Did you ask her permission? Maybe that's just how he says good morning. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? I'm talking sweet potatoes right now. All right? This whole little ocean of sweet potatoes right here. Now, I've let some things like these papayas grow in, which probably isn't the greatest uh, because they're competing for nutrients and water and everything else with my sweet potatoes. So the harvest in that section might suffer. We'll see, it's an experiment. But that will show you how long the sweet potatoes have been in the ground uh, because those papaya seeds were in the compost that I used, uh, that I put down when I planted my sweet potato slips. So that's how big a papaya's gotten in the amount of time that these sweet potatoes have been in the ground. So, you know, I don't fertilize them whatsoever. I watered them only for like the first two weeks because we were in a drought and they needed to be watered to get established. And then after that, whether we've been in a drought or, you know, actually we've had a ton of rain and this this back half of the sweet potato patch got flooded a few times pretty significantly back in July. So I'm wondering how that's going to affect the harvest. And again, we'll see. But it's going over here. It's it's growing up on that trellis with my bean stalk. It's growing up where I had cucumbers growing. It's all the way in the neighbor's trees. It's up in my tree. It's everywhere. It's going everywhere. Way over there. So, and the only tip I can really give, I mean, for sure, don't fertilize with a nitrogen fertilizer because you'll just get a lot of green growth and won't have a lot of tuber growth. So if you do want to fertilize with something, fertilize with something like a bone meal. But in my opinion, I just don't fertilize with anything. And I just let nature water them and uh, they thrive. Now, I'm not telling you I'm gonna have a huge bumper crop when I harvest here, but I think it'll be pretty good. So, that's what's going on with these sweet potatoes. And uh, the other thing I'll say too is, you know, pick a date when you wanna harvest from the beginning and then stick with that date. Cause right now, I see a lot of YouTube videos coming out of people having you know nice sweet potato harvests but if you get all excited and you go outside and you start harvesting before it's really time to harvest you're just hurting yourself so it's still wickedly hot here in central florida plane going by it's still really hot here in central florida so i really can't get my fall crops in the ground anyways so there's no reason not to just let these sit a little while longer and get as big as possible. So the date that we picked to harvest these before was October 10th. And no matter how excited I get about wanting to pick them, I'm going to wait till October 10th. So, and I'll make a little video of that sweet potato harvest and show you guys. So that's what's going on with the sweet potatoes. Oh yeah, go get with them. That's what's going on with the sweet potatoes. So thank you guys for watching and we'll holler back at you later.